Today in the morning, you've been with the Portuguese Prime Minister, uh, and everybody here, uh, who, all the journalists uh, who study and work on politics and economics, we look at the technology program, the, it's, which is a kind of a big statement by uh, the, the governments. Everybody looks at it as a little bit of propaganda. And your, um, your speech today was very enthusiastic, enthusiastic <laughs> for the... It's my personality. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, is this really important for Portugal, this kind of uh, uh, technology program? And is it so different from other countries or not? Because the idea I have, it is, it is not so different from no, other countries. No, it is unique. It really is the most unique thing. You are on TV now. If you yes, <laughs> I'm on TV and, I, I, look, and I'll stand by it. I don't know any other country in the world where every student, six years old to ten years old, is going to have a laptop. It's unbelievable. And you say that And, and I, I actually think it's more unbelievable than anybody in the country wow, thinks. The so the is, but you are, you are <laughs> saying <laughs> that because this is good for your industry and for your company? Sure, it's all good for our industry and our but company. I think it's, it's good for society. Yeah, but uh, the question is, even if it was not good for Microsoft, would you be saying that? I think I would certainly say it's completely unique and completely amazing. I might not be as enthusiastic about it <laughs> if it wasn't helpful for Microsoft. But, but look, at the end of the day, growth in the, the acceptance of information technology is a good thing, I think, for society and certainly a good thing for Microsoft. There isn't a country that's doing this. There's no country that's doing what your country is doing. These computers don't support Vista. They have XP. Right. Uh, because it's lighter. Uh, do you think the future lies on Magalhães or more and more powerful computers? I think mm -hmm. the Magellan, I'll, I'll yes, use my English pronunciation yeah. Yeah. because I don't want to butcher the Portuguese pronunciation. <laughs> but. But the Magellan computer is going to continue to get more powerful because Moore's law continues to operate. So we eventually will be able to put Vista on that machine instead of XP. Today we can't. It doesn't fit, if you will. But the notion that there's going to be machines, and the Magellan machines are interesting not just because they're low cost, but they really are friendly to the children. Yes. They're waterproof. They're easy to carry. Really nice work has been has been done on that machine by the local company who builds them, and I think it's phenomenal. You Are you supporting Magellan or Classmate by Intel? What I Classmate mean is, is that Classmate is a concept. Yeah, it's a concept. Magellan is actually a computer. So, Intel has promoted a concept of low-cost, cheap computers for kids, which I think is great. But somebody's actually got to build them, distribute them, make them happen. And with the involvement of the telecommunications industry in the country, J.P. Uh, Sakoto here that's building the machines, the involvement of the government, mm -hmm. that's a program we actually s can do something about. But, you know, we're very excited. The Portuguese government's got interest in the same thing, or the Portuguese companies have interest in the same thing in other countries. Would you support this as a prototype? for like third world countries, more poor markets, you know? Well, I don't know. The, Portugal's not exactly what I would call a third world country. It's no, a, this it's is a for first kids. world country. Here we're testing it for kids. Would, do you see these growing from being a computer for kids to being a good computer to initiate poor markets to information technologies? I think that people will have various budgets. It turns out that in most poor countries, the rich people don't want cheap computers. The businesses don't want cheap computers. But the consumers, just as in Portugal, may want cheaper computers, and that's a, a fine, that's a fine thing. I mean, if you go to uh, Angola, mm -hmm. which is one of the countries being targeted, believe me, the oil company in Angola, they don't buy cheap computers. They buy very yeah. expensive computers to do oil exploration mm -hmm. and the like. But at the same time, you 